name is Simon Rydell. I'm a professional Scrum trainer based in the United Kingdom. I've been working with Scrum.org since early 2010. In this short video, I would like to share a metaphor about roles in Scrum. My wife and I really enjoy the Vikings saga, which is on TV, and the, that fits with the way Scrum teams work. Now, if we think about a Viking ship as our Scrum team, the great thing is that if you own a ship in the Viking age, you had to make it enjoyable or people want to join your ship to either raid or trade. And there is one person who is responsible for ensuring that that ship makes it to its destination. And that person in Scrum is the product owner. They control the direction of that ship so that it gets to the destination or the goal using the product backlog. The people who get the ship there, who make the thing, they're the development team. And there is also a person who will make sure that the ship is running smoothly, that people row in time, that they've got everything they need. They're beating the drum to just make sure things are effective, the bosun of the ship. And in Scrum, that's the Scrum Master. The Scrum Guy quite clearly states that you need these three roles filled. And a very common question is, can I be in two roles at once? Let's think about that. If you're the product owner, can you be in the dev team? Well, yes you can, but what's going to happen? You're either going to lose a little bit of steering or lose a little bit of distance because you won't have that extra rowing. What about being in the dev team and the scrum master? Well, you're going to once again possibly lose that little bit of velocity or impetus or you're going to lose that coordination a very interesting role is being a product owner and a scrum master. What you'll probably end up doing is not a lot of steering, not a lot of drumming, but a lot of time running up and down the boat. Now what happens when a storm hits? When you're sailing, if the waves get big and the wind gets strong, everybody must focus on doing their role correctly to stop that ship sinking. Now, if you uh, have an absent person in this role, the product owner who is not available, the scrum master who is acting as a scrum master on top of all their work, or part-time dev team members who are working on eight products at the same time, when the storm comes, what's going to happen to that product? And the product normally sinks. Let's push the metaphor to breaking point. What happens when you have, want a scrum master, a dev team member, or a product owner in another ship? What, how do they get there? How do they get to the other ship? So you'll either notice both ships slow down so that the person can get from one ship to the other, or these people get very good at swimming and spend more time in the sea than working the ship. As with everything, your situation is unique, your context is yours, and your choice is yours, but please be aware that if you can dedicate people to their core roles, your ship. If you'd like to know more, I've written a blog article to get in touch, and if you'd like to contact me via my website, www.advancedproductdelivery.com. Thank you very much.